Hello, welcome to another episode of Stories by Grandma. As this year comes to an end, I came up with a list of happenings for the year. As the year got started, we found that coronavirus still had its grip on the world. January was all about Trump losing and Biden winning and the riot at the Capitol in Washington, D.C. February had a lot of coronavirus updates. Lots of kids were supposed to start back to school. There was a really bad winter storm that put parts of Texas out of power for days and weeks. Like all the rest of the year, there were several mass shootings. NASA landed its rover on Mars. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won Super Bowl 55, the first win ever on home field. March showed us a frozen Niagara Falls. Much of Hawaii had serious flooding. An early bunch of tornadoes tore out parts of Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia. In April, a man was killed by Capitol Police after he attacked them with his car. King Fauci said that if vaccination, masks, and social distancing continue, life will go back to normal. However, despite the increase of vaccines, hospitalizations, and cases were up. There were many people killed in gun violence all around the country. There were lots of protests over Black Lives Matter. Deontay Wright was shot and killed by Officer Kim Potter when she mistakenly used her gun instead of her taser. April was a month of shootings and jabbings, both having bad results. In May, there was a lot of deadly shootings, including one committed by a 12-year-old girl. The Colonial Pipeline was hit by a computer hacker, shutting it down and making gas prices go up. The CDC announced that there, those who were vaccinated no longer needed to wear masks or social distance in indoor settings. Not all the news was bad in May of 2021, as my granddaughter gave me another great-granddaughter on the 22nd. June was another month with a lot of shootings. In COVID news, California reopened after being closed for 15 months. There was a new variant spreading and supposedly there were now 600,000 dead in the United States. Juneteenth was made an official holiday. A condo near Miami collapsed, killing lots of people. There was a lot of extreme heat in the Western United States with many places setting new records. In July, rescue of efforts continued for the Miami condo collapse. The 2020 Olympics were held in Japan. Simone Biles pulled herself out of the Olympics due to mental health problems. Texas Democrats fled to Washington, D.C. to escape voting on a bill in Austin. They were threatened with arrest on their return. The CDC once again changed its guidelines, stating that even vaccinated people should wear masks. Mask on, mask off. Biden and others issued vaccine mandates affecting all federal employees and contractors. Meanwhile, Florida's governor blocked mandates in their schools. In August, there were more shootings at bars, nightclubs, and even the Pentagon. New York Governor Cuomo announced his resignation. Hurricane Ida hit. Texas Governor Abbott tested positive for COVID-19 despite being fully vaccinated. Right after the Pentagon said they were making the jab mandatory for all troops, a lot of lawyers got into a fight pushing back. People were to go back to wearing masks everywhere. People were being told to get vaccinated or lose their jobs. It was mayhem everywhere. Are we there yet, King Fauci? In September, Texas passed the Heartbeat Act, banning abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. SpaceX launched four citizens into space for a three-day trip. September was a month for booster and mask mandates. Mask on, mask off, what do we do? New York began enforcing its vaccine passport program. Simone Biles testified against the FBI handling of the Nassar case. Larry Nassar was the former team coach for the U.S. Olympic gymnastics team who was convicted for sexual abuse. There were many more shootings in the United States, including one where there was an argument over gifts at a baby shower. What? Give me a break. More COVID mandates came out and more governors said they were, weren't doing it in their states. King Fauci has stated that an over, overwhelming number of adults will need to be vaccinated before we can end, see an end to the pandemic. How is it working for you? 
A federal court temporarily blocked the New York City educator vaccine mandate. School on, school off. Sound familiar? Singer R. Kelly was convicted on federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges. Bill Cosby was released from prison. Biden pulled all troops out of Afghanistan. The Taliban took over almost immediately. Tens of thousands of migrants were stranded under a bridge in the Texas border town of Del Rio. In October, Captain Kirk, William Shatner, went to space for real in a Blue Origins rocket. This made him the oldest space traveler in history. King Fauci continues to push the jab. There are a large number of people pushing back saying, hell no. The FBI is trying to combat the growing number of parents who have been more and more hostile about the COVID stuff. One solution suggested declaring the parents to be domestic terrorists. The U.S. announced that it would reopen borders for fully vaccinated Canadians and Mexicans starting in November. However, unvaccinated illegal immigrants have no restrictions. Biden opened the floodgates for them at the beginning of the year. The CDC was talking about everyone needing a fourth booster. Wait, what, a fourth booster? Alec Baldwin shot and killed his cinematographer during the shootings of his new movie, Rust. In November, Biden's vaccine mandate was approved by the Labor Department immediately. Hundreds of New York firefighters called out sick. LA's county sheriff warned that there would be a potential mass exodus of deputies if the vaccine mandate continued to stay in place. This sort of thing happened all over America. In the five days, the first five days of the month, there were 11 mass shootings across the country. 10 people died after a crowd surge at the Travis Scott concert in Houston. A U.S. court blocked Biden's vaccine mandate for businesses. The CDC suggested we not have large family gatherings again for the holidays. Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted for his shooting spree in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Three white supremacists were convicted of murdering an unarmed black man in Georgia. Britney Spears was freed for the controlling action, freed from the controlling actions of her father. In December, the officer arrested and tried for the shooting of Deontay Wright back in April was found guilty. Former Vice President Mike Pence called on the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade abortion decision. There is another COVID variant. Again, New York City got its first female police chief. The Jack Webb Space Telescope was launched on Christmas Day. It will take a month for it to reach its million mile high orbit. For as bad as 2021 seemed to be, we still did good things. What will we do in 22? Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Stories by Grandma.